Alrighty. We are pretty freaking doomed. Well, this is it. Once the progress bar fills all the way, the cannon should auto fire. But some of the pipes are reading. If that bar on the fill is in the bottom of the well, I don't know if that'll that happen. I'll have to redirect some of the energy in order to get the cannon to fire. I can redirect the energy at this console. There should be two others around here that I'll need to redirect. Boop. Incredibly difficult. Alright, one down. There you go. Uh oh. Um, um, um. Okay, one more to go. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared, me ma. I'm scared. Alright. That's it. Now I just have to wait a little bit. Charging complete. Looks like the cans are gonna fire. Obviously it's not this easy. Pew pew pew! At last the Uriel set four cannons. Charged and fired. Their sights set on the geomes. Pew pew pew! That looks like it hurts. Oh, we got one for each beast. That's convenient. The weapons hit right on target. Deadly concentrations of light energy cracked across the geom's vast holes. Oh, and it's not enough! The huge creatures wavered, and their advanced on Whiteforge ground to a halt. Plumes of toxic gas billowed from their wounded sides. Uh oh. Why didn't we hit any of them in the face? It seems like... Oh, I was not expecting that to go that well. But in the end, the geoms would not die. Each one slowly limped away to nurse its wounds in a distant corner of the earth. Well, we saved the city. And doomed the world! Unless we can find a way to kill those geoms for once and for all! What happened, Wundick? I thought the failure was astronomically unlikely! Probability is just... Probability is just that. Probability. We gambled and we lost. Why didn't we, like, f target them all on one at a time and, like, explode their brains out? I don't pay you to gamble. I pay for science. I pay you for the truth. Proof. Certainty. Scientists do not deal with certainty, Biggs. We find evidence and we make the best decisions with what we have. Our plan failed. Even if we can hold the geoms ourselves off indefinitely, we don't know how long or soon they'll bring about the flood. Aleph, I misjudged you initially. You're a very capable technician. Right now, you're perhaps our only hope. You and the long dead residents of Carvold. Oh, crap. We're going over there, aren't we? Yes. Our initial expeditions to Carvold yielded a wealth of information about the Guillaumes, apocalyptic disasters, the world cycles, etc. But we did not come across the method via which the Carvold managed to destroy two of the Geomes. Based on a survey of Carvold's technology, we assumed we could match and surpass any sort of weaponry they might have had to fight off the Geomes. So we focused on our domestic infrastructure and began to working on Uriel 4 cannons. But we failed at this where they at least partially succeeded. We need you to go back to Caravels and scour the face for clues about how they destroyed their geomes. But how? There is a subterranean channel that links our continent to the other continents. Yeah, that seems like a practical way to do things other than like a boat. The passage is blocked by ancient Caravel technology. We have managed to decrypt. We will provide you with the Caravel translation tool and the passcode to reach the other continents. There's more continents than just the two? This is a pretty big game. We'll figure things out from there. You'll need a map to the tunnel entrance, so take this. Ooh. I agree. This might be our best chance. What do you say, Aleph? All right, I'll do it. I'll leave tomorrow morning. Does Yara still hate my entire face? Ooh! Hey! At least we got some nice neon pink! You know, dead aliens everywhere. Oh, this reminds me of a lot of SR again. With the, uh, you know, destroyed SR. Um... Just chilling like always, huh, buddy? 
Let's check out the other areas. We haven't been anywhere in a while. The local lending library. Look at books. Those travel guides. Oh, hey! Oscar Basin. Oscar Basin is one of the world's most peculiar ge geological formations our world has to offer. Bowl of the trees. The Oscar Basin is close to a mix of a sinkhole, valley, and canyon. Its walls dotted with massive protruding tree branches. Often the area around the village is just called the bowl. The village itself is built on top of these trees. And within... That seems very unsafe, by the way. Trees do die. And within the snowy bowl's walls... Navigating those involves traversing a flat, snowy field. Soon the horizon gives way to what seems like to be a cliff. But no, it's a sight you're unlikely to forget anytime soon as the bowl unfolds before you. As you descend through the ladders, branches, and small paths, you can see the exhaust from a power plant rising from the center of the bowl. If you'd like, you can descend even further from Oscar Basin to the bottom of the bowl. To get one of the most sublime views, through a canopy of branches up to the clear sky. As one walks among the Oscar Basin, they find themselves wandering about the arduous construction of such a town amongst a growing, odd, ancient forest. Despite such a history, Oscar Basin still has found itself struggling financially, experiencing a trend of depopulation. As a result, it's turned the methods of tourism to increase revenue, leading to a somewhat cheery, wintry atmosphere amongst the village. Should I read all of these? Did I read? I think I... Yeah, have a rest view. Rem remember that? Let's read about Magdal Woods. That the, that place was pretty cool. No river dam, though. Screw that place. Magdal Woods sits in the deciduous forest south of Riverden, just home to one of the oldest and best preserved libraries that later became the site of a power plant. The power plant reaches deep underground. Its construction revealed a curious presence of a subterranean cave network. Before construction, there were protests due to worries over the power plant's construction damaging the environment and foundation around the library. But luckily, at the time of writing, both seemed to stand in harmony with each other and the surrounding environments, and no further construction is planned. Navigating the woods can be extremely confusing if you decide to go off the beaten path. The ground beneath the trees is bumpy, and following paths becomes difficult because of small hills breaking the lines of sight. Additionally, the area is prone to heavy fog and early and late hours. Once the library, you can look at the photo and make photocopies of a number of rare books, and even check out a few. The library specializes in older fiction, some of which is influenced by the woods themselves. If you get a chance, be sure to donate or purchase something from the library's gift shop. If you get hungry, there's a small village a few minutes walk from the library, where you can also provide an overnight stay if you're looking to explore the area further. Ah, oh, that sounds really cool. No, oh, no, I don't need Riverton. No. Never mind. Uh, talk to this weirdo. Hey, Aleph. Something going up there in Apex? Yeah, well, you know, work. Yeah, I, I, a, a bunch of giant monsters, you know, killed a bunch of people. And say, it's, 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 it's work. How uh, the donations coming along? Oh, you know, they're all right. Could be higher. At least they're not lower. What can I do? I guess you're running a library rather than sitting by complaining. People use the library, you know? Yeah, as you're saying, I can't run a library and complain? Well, no, but... I'm just playing, huh? It's fun to act hopeless sometimes, you know? <laughs> that explains... That explains all of Twitter. Don't worry about it too much, Aleph. Alright. It's fine. He doesn't know that we're all gonna die. Let's just... Let him be blissfully unaware. No need to go to the junkyard. Aw, oh, we can't pay our respects! Whatever, let's go to Mirax Park. That creepy bum came to town, rise things starting getting rotten around here. Look at this guy's glassy eyes. Yeah, right when Geom showed up, so did this thing. When they attacked, he just so happened to be in the safety of this garden. Which the Geom sure seemed to steer clear of. How would you know these things? This is my garden. Hummus has nothing to do with it. It's probably a complete coincidence that the garden avoided damage. I've been around Hummus this whole time, and they didn't stick the white geomes on White Forge, if that's what you're saying. Now, Yara, yeah, I know you mean well, but you're dealing with things you don't understand. Unlike me, who understands everything. Like science types. I don't like the science types. They're not good types. This is a bad man you got holding up in your house. We're looking out for you. Yeah, let us help you. This terrorist need to be brought to justice. They took her germs. Arr! Gonna build a wall. Character just screams suspicious. 
I mean, really, he's got a fedora. You'd have to be blind not to see it. Are you... You kind of look like you're blind, but, uh... <laughs> screw you! Hummus didn't do anything. I know Hummus. Why is his name Hummus? Well, I guess he's not a he, but whatever. I'm the only one that knows them here. Ha! We should trust you to be a judge of character. Cassidy used to be a member of, respectable member of the community before your corrupted influence. Shut up. You don't know. You can't talk to me like that. I helped Cassidy. She told me I helped her find herself. Cassidy had a top position, an office, cleanliness, safety, no need to do dangerous field work. How dare you say that? Cassidy was transferred to be a mission department because of people like you. Apex official... Because of people like you, Apex officials thought she was a freak. Don't you dare insinuate what happened to her. It was my fault. Okay, we need to beat these people up, Aleph. Hey, what's going on, Yara? Are you okay? Aleph, they want to take hummus. Aleph, you can be reasonable, right? Oh, he's even got the Nazi haircut. Oh, man. For some reason, all of the neo-Nazis have that kind of, like, super swept over haircut that, like, it's swept over. Like, it's not just a normal part. It's, like, the hair is too much on one side, and, like, it looks weird on the other, and I hate it. This humus character has got something to got to do with the geomatics. Plain as day. We ain't out for blood. We're just worried about everybody's safety. He should be locked up and put on trial. Why, why are these dumb hicks? Like, this is like a crazy science place. Like, why are these dumb hicks here? Shouldn't you be in Riverton? Like, these people are being even worse than the Riverton people. Like, the Riverton people are just annoying. These guys are, like, evil. You're friends with this one, right? Talk to some sense into her. Hey, what should we do? I don't know. You're the reasonable one. You tell me. Harsh. I'm sorry about everything, Yara. I don't want to fight. Me neither. But I gotta go. The world's really in danger, and I gotta go... I have to go far away for a while. What if Hummus could stay in jail for the lighthouse for a bit? What? No. But they'd be safe there, and everyone would stop bothering you. I've seen the cells. They're really not so bad. And I could... Why doesn't he just stay at my place? I'm not gonna need it. Things will die down. We can... Blah, blah, blah. I don't like it, but I can't think of anything better. Well, ask Hummus what they think. Hummus. Yes, Aleph? These people are pretty riled up. Would you uh, mind staying in the lighthouse jail? Just until I... Just until I come back to jail with the GMs so we can clear your name. Mind? I would not mind anything. So is this like the reincarnation of Jeebus or something? Thank you, Cummus. Let's go. Nice jail. I'll be back as soon as I can. I wish you safe travel, Aleph. Hummus? Yes, Aleph? I don't think you made the GMs attack the city, but do you know anything about them? What do they have against Whiteforge? The GMs are unaware of the concept of Whiteforge, unless I have nothing against it. So are they being controlled or led by something else? No personal entity directs the actions of the GMs. So then, why Whiteforge? Why now? You can't tell me this is just random chance. Whiteforge has its power plants in being specifically targeted. Their question is too broad to answer correctly. But it's correct that Geon's attacks are not random at a high level, in the sense that a dice roll is being used to determine their targets. Uh, I don't have time for this. How do you, how would I even tell you if you know anything or this you just make this up? Each being has its own frame of reference. I answer from my own, with no intention to deceive you. Ultimately, however, you have no absolute way to verify the validity of my knowledge, the sincerity of my communication, or the stability of the concept of objective reality. Okay, I don't like Hamas anymore. Look, fine, never mind, I'll do this on my own. I think you mean well, Hummus, just... I need more than that right now. Are you gonna yell at me, Yara? I don't really want to talk a lot right now. Too much tension in the air. I still haven't sorted through all my thoughts yet. Yara. I've missed you. I've missed you too. Three complete. Act four. There, see, there are four acts. Also, am I dumb or did I? I could have swore initially when I very first heard of this game that it was going to be like a Metroidvania sort of thing. I mean, it's clearly not. 
Um, maybe I just confused it with something else. Time to head to Caravold. Alrighty. Boop. How would... How did they deal such a low level of damage, but to like everything in the entire city? I guess just stomping around and earthquakes and stuff. Cave southeast of White Forge. Okie dokie. It's like over here somewhere. Hey, it's Travel Bob! How you doing? Or, oh, if it's true what they say, White Forge City's been attacked? I mean, White Fort City is like 20 seconds north of here, so you can just check it out, but whatever. Well, in times like these, it's good that we can focus on things that really matter. Like, uh, nature and hiking. Uh, anyway, safe travel, Aleph. Yeah, you're super useful, my friend. Isn't it here? Yep, Caravold Tunnel. This must be the train station to Caravold. Looks functional. Shall I make the trip? Probably won't be returning home until my mission's complete. Sure. Gotta yeah, start the train then. Let's see, Dr. Watson gave a detailed instructions on how to operate this train. If I just follow this order, I should be on my way. Button pressing. That sure did do something. Uh-huh. Let's diagram the continent with White Forge. I'm assuming where Carvold is. Looks like the outer continents consist of two large continents, so I'm heading straight to the southern one. Estimated time of arrival? Whoa, that's fast. Oh, it's moving. Let's go. Oh, sick as hell, dude! Freaking, oh, that is awesome. I want a freaking like underwater train track thing. That sounds incredibly dangerous, but incredibly awesome, which is far more important. Need to find the city, use the radio tower, straight east, Caravold. Oh, we're on a new continent now. Wait, do I have the map of this place? How do I, oh, no. White Fort Continent! Hell yeah. Wait. That's not it. Caravold Continent. This is not the Caravold Continent at all. Hey. This is not a relevant map. Ugh, it's just a map to how to get to that tunnel. Oh, whatever. I'll just explore it a bit here. It said to go east, so I'm obviously not going to go east. It's all rocky and pretty. This is always the best part of a uh, of the uh, PlayStation Final Fantasy things. Whenever you get access to a new continent, I just had to explore every nook and cranny, find all. <gasps> oh, you motherfucker! They're just chilling in like the ruins of the civilization. Yeah, it was always really cool to, like, explore the news. <laughs> That's all you have to say to that? Okay, so... I guess those geomes will be a destination at some point. Huh. Let's go find the big bull. Where was he? There's the dragon. Huh. Oh, there he is. What is this, like a marsh? Karst Pass. She's not even going to comment on the big monsters, okay. Mm, can't cross that. Alright. But where's the, uh... Where's the whale? Didn't see the whale. Ah, yeah, whatever. Karst Government District. Oh, dang. Did this, I guess this got... Did this place get flooded or droughted? I guess... I think it was the drought. Pretty skyline, though. If I'm not mistaken, this might looks like it might be the radio tower. Our world's equivalent to the Sunray Spire. I wonder if the signal is trying to contact White Forge. I'll be my first rate business. Carvel, the ancient city. Some good construction if it didn't if all this crap didn't like fall over. Oh. 
Carval Radio Tower. Okay, is this a platforming segment or is this just more story? Mm, let's see, it's supposed to be the radio console. See if I can turn this on. Oh, good, that worked. See if I can find my way around this interface. Beep, and put the correct thing. Whiteforge, can anyone hear me? Whiteforge, this is Aleph. I reached the California Radio Tower. Shh. Let me guess, I have to go higher. Aleph, you made it. I'm putting Dr. Hordsnack on the line. Aleph, we, we're surveying some records we brought back in our first expedition to Caravold. I found a reference to a highly secured government office on one of the higher floors of the radio tower. See if you can find a way to search the higher levels. Okay. May pass a block by a lot of rebels, but I'll see what I can do to get higher up. Over and out. What's this? There's a couch in this break room. It's reasonably comfortable. I can sleep here later. Alright, so this is going to be a multi-day trip here, isn't it? Alright, this is probably a platformy segment, or... Or is that it? Maybe this is the offer Dr. Wadsley is talking about. Let's see what notes and diagrams are all about. Hey, this looks like it. Good old CRTs. See these maps of the bomb silos. It maps the car of old continent. I don't know, Dr. Wadsnick. Oh, so, not really a platforming area after all. Okay. What's up, buddy? Oh, Dr. Wadsnick, Mayor Briggs. I think I may have found what we're looking for. What is it? According to this document, the Color World developed three types of explosive devices, each type targeting the capable makeup of a specific geome. They sell operatives inside the geomes themselves to place the bombs at crucial weak points. Apparently this was enough to destroy the geome, so the one operative failed the mission. Intriguing indeed. Do you have the explosives? No, the bombs are held in three different silos hidden throughout the outer continents. But I was able to find map fragments showing the location of each silo. I should be able to find the bombs and bring them back home. We can plan our next move. Actually, we believe the geomes are coming to you. We, our sources saw them retreating east to outer continents after the attack on the Whiteforge. We believe we are currently recharging from the weakened state. So it would be the ideal time to strike. Aleph, we need you to retrieve those bombs as quickly as possible and head directly to the geomes. Their immense size should make them easy to spot from afar. Right now, you are located on the southern outer continent. Take note of that to get to some of the side those you may need to get to the nodes and outer continent via the train station. Okay, thanks for the information. I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's I guess find a silo while we're here. And uh then we'll call it a video. Poor city. They look less advanced. Well, I guess that was kind of the thing, is that they were... We thought we were more advanced than them, so there was no reason to, you know, do whatever. But we were wrong. Uh, Earth Bomb Silo. Oh, dang, it's just a photo of a map? How do I see that? Okay. There it is. Now that's got to be on the other continent. Oh, no. Sea bombs. I think that's on the other continent too. So that none of that looks familiar, but this obviously did. Okay. Earth bomb silo. Oh, it's tiny. Oh well. We're about 25 minutes in, so that's a good point to cut off the video. I guess we'll be collecting a bunch of bombs tomorrow. Fun stuff.